So there guys, welcome to another little video and today I'm going to be showing you my Football Manager 2018 handheld giant killer tactic. Just before we get into the actual video, go follow my socials. Instagram, official Goalangers, Twitter, at GoalangerYT. So there guys, now as you can see, here I am in Football Manager 2018. As you can see, I'm top of the championship now with Derby County. And then I'm actually unbeaten in this season at the moment. See, all them wins. Yeah, that was a community shield, so maybe I'm not unbeaten. But as you can see, I did nearly, very nearly get something out of that game against Arsenal. Considering I still am in the championship, I'm going to show you, get straight in. Here's the tactic. As you can see, you start with a centre forward, uh, central, complete forward, I mean. And then an inside, two inside forwards on the wing an attacking playmaker in midfield or a central midfielder. And then I've got a central midfielder on the right. And then I've got a anchor just in between the defence and the midfield. And now I've got two wing backs on the right and left back position. And then I've got two centre backs and then obviously a goalkeeper now. But here's the shape. You can, it's I usually go with attacking. But you can but you can change this around really, depending on how, how good you think your team's going to be in this game. Say if you think you're not going to get much out, I'd suggest go for counter, balanced or control. If you're going to win, go for attacking. It's simple as that. As you can see, the width is wide. Obviously, we've got the wing backs and inside forwards. And then tempo and created freedom are normal and balanced. Getting into the defence, the defensive line is balanced. Closing down zone half. Tackling is committed. Offside trap is yes. Time wasting is no, unless you're getting down, unless you're winning, like, and it's last 10, then time waste. Final third, you've got to look for the overlap, work ball into box, run at defence. Passing style is short, so you hold the ball. It does usually work. You get about a range from 40 to 60% 60, 60 possession, depending on who you're playing. The passing focus is the centre. And as you can see here, on the left-hand side, You've got the pitch where it shows you. And this inside area where the penalty box is, you will be getting a lot of chances in there. So you really want a good striker. Poacher is better on an advanced forward. But obviously, I do like to go with the uh, Mason Bennett as a complete forward. And this, yeah, this basically suits that position fantastically. And then the assignments, you can have what you want. But, I mean, this would work best if you have... A team that is good in your division so if you're going to have a small team that isn't very good doesn't have a lot of money and you're playing with players that are going to be struggling in a relegation battle this tactic is going to be challenging to work with but it would still work if you get what I mean I mean if you look at my team right now it's full of championship players you've got a Derby Academy player at the left back you've got Blackburn keeper in goal you've got who where I don't know where I signed in from, but it was definitely in the low divisions. I've got an on loan Arsenal player, still got a champ Derby's right back, got on loan anchor uh, Brooks signed in from Sheffield United. Then I've got Camps, I signed in from Rochdale. You've got Wyman out wide who's with Derby, Russell out wide, Bennett's an academy player. So this isn't a team full of like over expensive players. I mean, look, four point three million. You got Wyman, he's on nine point two five, Brooks seven point five. They're all high class championship players. And this works best. Now, I've seen this formation work with... It doesn't have to be giant killing, but it works well in this. And I've seen it work with um, Liverpool really well. This one, you can go and beat in there and win the league. But this works really well, I would say, in any division, as long as you do it right. So, once again, when you're in the shape, change it. I, wouldn't, I would never go contain or defensive with this formation because it's not built for that. But counter will work. Balanced is more if you don't know what you're gonna whether you're gonna win or lose, say a mid table team you're coming up against. Control is if you're coming up against team that are in the top ten, I would say. Attacking if you're coming up against team that are in the bottom half. And overload, I wouldn't click that unless you're going for the last ten in a game and you're losing or drawing. Either way, that is my team as you can see. The none of them are like really Premier League players, I mean. What, look at all these. These are players that I've bought. I bought a lot of players from different leagues. But I hope you enjoyed that. That was my giant killing tactic. Comment whether it works. Because 
I'm not sure myself, to be honest. I've only started it with Derby, but I think it does. And if I can actually show you that just before we leave, I'll show you my giant killings this season, actually. I'm in the Euro Cup. Actually, no. I'm going to start at the beginning now. There we go. I finished ninth last year in the Championship, unfortunately. Only I lost 15, 121. It was all right. I got 73 points, which is very good, and I'm surprised I didn't finish in the playoffs. Then we go to the Carabao Cup. I got to the third round. We're in this game. I went to I played Chelsea away. I lost 4-3. That's pretty good. I, I, FA Cup, I won it. I beat West Brom 3-0. Crystal Palace 2-0. And then I beat some. I beat Everton. And then I played Ipswich in the final. Don't know how they beat West Ham 4-2. And I beat them 1-0. And then this year, we'll show you. So if it starts off in the Community Shield, I lost 4-3 to Arsenal, unfortunately. In a friendly, I beat West Ham 5-1. And then we'll go down to when I played in the Euro European group stage. I beat Spartak Moscow 1-0. And then I beat Athens 2-0. And then I beat Zrinski 2-0. And then we'll keep going. And uh, played Spartak Moscow again, beat them 1-0. Played Athens, got a draw, but still went through. And then, right, in the cup quarter-final, I had to go to extra time against Crewe. Right. And then we just recently played Tottenham. I got a 2 all draw. Yes, I was 2-0 two, two down after five minutes, but I came back it once just for half-time. And in the second half, and that was playing balanced right there. That was playing the balanced formation because I didn't know whether I could beat Tottenham with the attacking. It's worked before. I've beat Tottenham with the attacking before, but I didn't know whether I could do it again, so... That's all, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.